What is up everyone here at Carnage? It's Six Max here and I'm back again with another commentary for you guys on the channel. Today what we're bringing you all is a double DNA bomb by Carnage Apollo. That's right, Apollo, the leader of Carnage, you guys. The voice behind those beautiful commentaries. And yes, he also does things other than commentate over the videos, you guys. He pub stomps as well and he rips people up just like in this gameplay right here. And uh, like I said, we've got a double DNA bomb here for you guys. So sit back, grab your popcorn and enjoy. And first up, before we get started on this commentary, let's shoot for 1,000 likes on this video, you guys. This is an amazing gameplay and Apollo definitely deserves it. So let's go show him some love on this one, you guys and make sure you also go check out his channel down below in the description right next to mine and go sub him up you guys and also don't forget if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel because if you want to see the best gameplays on advanced warfare this is the place and also once black ops 3 comes out you better believe all of the world's firsts all the world's firsts all the record breaking gameplays all that kind of stuff will be right here on our channel so make sure you sub and stay for a while you guys we'll appreciate that it's, it'll be good to get to know you all and also one more thing if you're on Twitter, go follow Apollo and the Carnage Twitter as well, you guys. If you enjoy the Call of Duty community like I do, you'll definitely want to sign up for Twitter if you're not already on there and go follow some of your favorite pub stomping teams and commentators because Twitter is really where everything happens in this community. If you stay involved with us on the Carnage Twitter, there's also a good chance you can get a shout out at some point on there. But, uh, but anyways, you guys. Let's move right into the topic that I wanted to talk to you all about today, which is that there's always been a debate in the gaming community about which console reigns supreme in the community. Is it the PlayStation 4? Is it the Xbox One? Well, there's this insanely cool invention that a lot of you probably haven't seen yet, which is called the Playbox. So what's the Playbox? Well, it's basically the only place you need to go if you want to play either the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4. And this guy uh, invented this himself, and I'll tell you a little, about, a little bit about it. So what it is, it's both of those combined into a laptop type form, and what's cool is that it's 100% portable. It comes with a 22 inch monitor and everything you need to take both systems just basically wherever you want. And some of you techie guys might think there's no way you can fit you know, a big enough hard drive into something like that, these, but these guys, they, they, they actually did. And they, fit, um, they actually fit a 500 gig hard drive into both systems, which is, which is pretty nuts if you think about that for the size of this thing. Make sure, again, you go check out the uh, the YouTube of it. Go Google it, whatever it is. You can kind of see a better picture of it and see really just how big it is. The guy that made it said it took about a month to make and, and it looks kind of like a briefcase. So it's really not that big, like I said. And in the back of the console, it has a switch back there so you can switch between the Xbox and the PlayStation, which is pretty cool. And unfortunately, it can't play both at once, which, I mean, I guess like a split screen thing or something like that. But, I mean, that kind of makes sense. It, it would just overheat way too badly. But, that, I mean, that really... That shouldn't be surprising, but you do need to have both an Xbox One controller and a PS4 controller to run each of them, which I guess kind of sucks, but it would be nice to have more like a universal controller you could just use for both. But it's really not that surprising, to be honest. You know, with this thing, it's the size of a briefcase. It, you know, I mean, that's not too much to ask. You have to have both controllers, not a big deal. But the thing, this thing's honestly insane. I'd love to have something like this personally. I mean, make sure you guys go check it out. Like I said, go Google it. It's called the Playbox again and read up on it. It's pretty insane, you guys. It, it's really crazy, all the inventions that just constantly keep coming out left and right all over the place. It's like the future we imagined when we were kids. It's really starting to come to life before our eyes. Not necessarily so much with this particular invention because this is more so like a previous invention just kind of tweaked a little bit. But there's crazier ones out there for sure. What's also cool is that a lot of the things are just like being developed and built and invented by, by people really just in their own spare time in their garage or their workshop. I mean, it just shows you guys like how many smart, crafty people are, are, are out there in this world. Kind of like in my last commentary I did for you guys, or, or one of the last ones I did for you guys, which is about the kid that invented the uh, the homemade lightsaber shotgun. Make sure you guys go check that out, because that's pretty nuts. So go check out that commentary if you haven't seen it yet, but it, it's pretty insane. He built it himself in his garage, but, uh, but anyways, guys, enough about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. That about wraps up this commentary. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, you guys, and, and staying this far. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys did enjoy that gameplay. And uh, it's by Paul, uh, Apollo again, you guys. So make sure you go, uh, go sub him up. Go check him out down below in the description right next to mine. And, uh, and I like to do something, you guys, uh, to make sure to just to see if people stayed to the end of the commentary. Uh, type the word banana down in the comment section down below, you guys, if you did stay until the end here. So go type that down there, and we'll, we'll show you some love if you did and uh but anyways you guys again this has been six max that commentary was by apollo again you guys make sure you go sub them up thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you all very soon in our next video